First, you'll need to power up your HiPot Max instrument. Check to be sure the correct input line voltage has been selected on the rear panel, either 115 volts AC or 230 volts AC. Insert the remote interlock key into the signal input terminal on the rear panel. The instrument will not output voltage unless this interlock key is properly plugged in. This allows the user to wire the instrument to the doors of a DUT enclosure for an extra measure of operator safety. This is also a safe workstation best practice. Connect the power input plug into its socket on the rear panel of the instrument. Connect the male end of the plug to the outlet receptacle. Turn on the power switch on the front panel of the HiPot Max instrument. It will automatically navigate to the Perform Test screen. The Perform Test screen displays five parameters. Memory number, status indicator, test time, test voltage, and leakage current limit. First, we're going to set up an AC high pot test in memory one. Press the memory key, use the numeric keys to enter the memory location number, and then press the enter key. For this video, we will use memory location one. The program will recall the test parameter stored in this location and return to the operation mode automatically. The HiPot Max series instruments have a total of 50 memories. Next, we will need to set up the parameters to the AC HiPot test. To edit the parameters, simply press the up and down arrow key to navigate through the test parameters. If entering a numeric value such as voltage, use the numeric keypad to input a value. To toggle between parameters, selections for frequency, Dwell Unit, Arc, Detect, and Connect, press the Enter key to scroll between the values. For the purposes of this video, the HiPot test will be set to 5000 volts at 60 Hz with a 2 second dwell time. After all the parameters have been adjusted, press the Exit key to return to the Perform test screen. Finally, we're going to show you how to connect the HiPot Max to a DUT and run the test sequence. To connect the HiPot Max to the DUT, you're going to need the following accessories the red high voltage lead, and the black clip return lead. First, connect the black lead to the return terminal on the HiPot Max. Connect the high voltage lead by plugging in the white Alden style connector to the HV terminal. Be sure to line up the plastic knob on the HV lead with the slot on the HV terminal on the HiPot Max. Once inserted, turn clockwise and lock the lead into place. Once all these connections have been made, you can now connect your DUT. To connect the DUT, clip the high voltage lead in the mains conductor of the DUT. In this case, we're shorting the line in neutral wires, which are the two black wires to the high voltage lead. Next, connect the return lead to the chassis of the DUT. Close the DUT enclosure door, stand back, and press test button to run the test sequence. Press the enter key at the end of the test sequence to view your test results.